We're here at Black Magic Design at NAB 2023. They just released an awesome update for DaVinci Resolve. You're really going to want to stick around for this. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and B&H. So we're here with Simon, a senior technical sales specialist from Blackmagic Design. Simon, I want to know everything. What is new in the new result? Um, to know everything, we may be here a while, but I will take you through some of the key new features that have got a lot of people excited. Um, we've done a lot of work around AI with our audio, so now you can transcribe clips, you can auto-generate subtitles. Yeah, so what we're doing with the Neural Engine is Resolve has the ability to transcribe a a file looking at the audio from the clip. So what I can do is if I right click on a clip and I go into here and I say transcribe audio, it'll use the neural engine to analyze the clip and cre create a transcription for it. This seemed pretty fast. Is this a short clip or is it really that fast? It's, it's fast. It's This is a relatively short clip, but it is fast. Again, obviously it depends on the spec of your machine, but this is just a standard sort of 24 inch iMac. Um, so from here, as you can see, you can actually play through. So as this is playing back, it will you can see the highlight will follow the actual audio. If you just want to grab a section of a clip, so for example, if I just want this sentence here, I can just click and drag over, and when I let go, it marks the in and out points on the clip. So I can just then simply say append, and it'll drop that section of the clip into the timeline. If you've got a really long interview, you've got a search option in here which you can search for. You can also export it as just a plain text file. Can you also do SRT and other formats? You can, but there's no real need to do that because the next thing we've done with Resolve is we, the neural engine can also create subtitles by analyzing a timeline. So again, what I can actually do from my timeline menu in here, I can say create subtitles from audio. Now this may take a little bit longer because it's a longer timeline, it's got a lot to analyze. But if I say create subtitles from audio and I hit create, again, the neural engine will go through the timeline and it will analyze all the audio and automatically create subtitles for my sequence. And how, how customizable is that? Can you choose uh, the amount of speakers? Does it do multiple languages? Um, not at the moment. So for the beta, um, we, we kind of just wanted to get English nailed down first so we can show it. Obviously, the plan is moving forward to obviously add many more languages as we go. Again, currently at the moment, it only identifies a speaker. So if you have two people speaking in the shot, it'll recognize the cut in the subclip, I'm uh, sorry, in the subtitle. So it will play one person and it'll cut to the other person, but it puts it in the same subtitle. But once, you know, once it's finished like this, you can actually create a subtitle region and separate the subtitles so you can have two layers. So yeah, once this is analyzed and done, as you can see in here, it's pretty good, it's pretty accurate, um, but the subtitles are editable. So, you know, for example, in here, Sean's name isn't spelled correctly, you know, it's a, it's a, Af Afrikaans name, it's a Dutch name, so I wouldn't expect our AI to be able to, to understand that. But again, as you can see, I can go and edit the subtitle from here. You can change the subtitle style and track. They, they've been in Resolve before, but with this new tool, it just makes it so much easier. And uh, speaking of uh, correct or not correct, how confident are we in the quality of the transcription? Um, I mean, I can only speak from my experience. I can't speak from my experience when I've been beta testing this. I get about 90% accuracy from it, so it is really, really good. Occasionally, you might have to trim the timing a little bit. Again, we're in beta at the moment, so occasionally, you know, if there's a long gap, it might extend the subtitle, but as I said it's, it's in beta at the moment, so for me, it's amazing. 90% accuracy in a beta is... Yeah, 90% is a win, yeah. for sure. All right, is there anything else that you can show us? Cool to do in Resolve? Yeah, so one of the other things we've done is the Relight tool. Um, and this is, again, this is very, very clever. So obviously what we've got in here is, um, if I wanted to maybe relight this scene a little bit, obviously in before you could use a power window, but it's not sort of a natural light. You don't get sort of specular highlights and shadows and the kind of the right reflections. But now what we've got under the effects, we've got something called Relight. So if I drop this on to a clip, this may take a little while to do. Again, this is quite intense for my 24-inch uh, iMac here. 
Is this part of uh, Fusion or is this... Uh... This is part of the color page. So this is something you can apply in the color page. So as you can see in here, I've got a point source. So it is kind of like true lighting. So again, if I adjust the point source in here, where the area is white, it's gonna light, and where the area is dark, it's not. But as you can see, you get this sort of natural lighting map, so it keeps shadows and highlights, so it makes the light look more natural. It seems like it's, it's making kind of like its own depth map to... Yes. That's exactly what it's doing. So again, it's using the AI in Resolve to do this. So if I turn off the lighting remap, now again, what I can do in here is I might just lift my camera a little bit. It may take it a little while, I saw it update in our, in our little window here, so it's coming. It's coming. So again, if, if I just sort of lift the gamma a little bit, and again, I'm just gonna push maybe a little bit of warm color into this. You can now see, I get the warm color, but it looks natural. It doesn't look like it's sort of windowed. Yeah, I'm getting sort of nice reflections under here and off his face. So it's a really very cool way of sort of adding light to a scene. Um, and it's great as well for kind of virtual work, virtual production work, because you can drop this into a 3D scene and it'll light it. So, yeah, that, so there's some of sort of the key new, cool new features. One of the things that I really like, we've got something called remote monitoring now. So what you can do is you can monitor, take your Resolve canvas and sort of remote it to any other external monitor, which is great. So you've got this button down here whereby, you know, you can sort of, say I want to start a remote monitoring session, choose your video codec, click on start session, and what it'll do is it'll give you a key. So if somebody has the remote monitoring app on another system, they can use that, or you can use it through a web browser, and they just paste this key in, and you can use like an iPhone or an iPad or a next uh, 20,000 pound HDR monitor, however you want to do it. Now the director will always know when I'm working. Uh, unfortunately so, yes. <laughs> they can always check when you're working. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that one. <laughs> well, it seems really cool. I love the idea of the, the relighting. I, I want to say, just for everyone who's thinking about it, can I say it? Is it kind of like the iPhone? Uh, no. It's I, better. It's, it's, yeah, you, we're using a, a neural, Resolve's neural engine. It's AI. It's doing its sort of own thinking in the scene. So, yeah, it's, it's, I've got to say it's better. It's more advanced. That's awesome. I love seeing this. It's such a cool idea. Thanks for showing us that. So one last question I have for you, and I think everyone's wondering it at home. Is it part of the free or is it part of the paid? It's part of the paid. Um, the, a lot of our neural engine capability is part of the paid version. Um, because let's face it, we've got to earn money somehow and we've got a whole team of very clever guys that work on this stuff. Um, you know, people can try things like the relight, but it will watermark your result. Um, so yeah, it is, it is, these are studio only features. Well, it's paid, but you guys can try it. So definitely check that out. We're gonna keep walking the floors here, NAB 2023 coverage. My name's Adam Frimmer from DIYphotography.net.